second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, 
John baptized with water. You will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles, too. Thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on. Bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the heart, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Today's Gospel introduces us to Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Yesterday was the Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Easter, and we started to hear about the Good Shepherd. And today we celebrate the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. And we need more shepherds. But we have only one shepherd. So, and Jesus presents himself today as the legitimate shepherd who knows each one of his sheep and walks before them. But Jesus he is not the shepherd, he is also the door of the sheep home. That is, Jesus Christ is the only way to access to the Father whose essential characteristic is to give his life so that his own may have life. And life in abundance, like yesterday, Jesus. 
Jesus said. The intimate relationship that he has with his flock is distinctive, distinctive that of this good shepherd because his bond of love and mutual love which guarantees the sheep the great gift of eternal life. Today, Jesus It is very important, important that we listen to his word because from this listening our faith is, is born and nurtured. Only those who are attentive to the voice of the Lord are able to discern in their conscience the right decisions and to act according to God's will. From our listening to the word of God, is the real, the real the following of Jesus and to go after him we must listen to him accept his teaching inwardly and make it the life of our life we must realize that the evangelist the, uh, John the, who wrote this gospel three times in, in insist on the essential characteristic of the true shepherd. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life. I think giving life is clearly the trait that qualifies the shepherd per excellence, Jesus. And the biblical figure of the shepherd king who mainly understand the task of ruling the people of God, of keeping them united and guiding them. All this real function is fully realized in Jesus Christ in his sacrificial, sacrificial dimension, in the offering of life. In other words, in the mystery of the cross, the supreme act of humility and, and of, of oblative love of the Good Shepherd is performed. May the Good Shepherd Jesus Christ help us to be good followers of Him, imitating Him in the free and generous dedication of our own lives for the benefit of those who need it. In a special way, I think this is a good time to pray for those who are in leadership in the government, in our society, but also in our church. To pray for the bishop, for the bishops, for the Holy Father, for our own pastor for our pastors in our parishes, that they can be also a good imitators of this good shepherd that is Jesus. Let us continue praying for more vocations to priesthood and religious life, and also to have holy, holy lay people, that also that they can serve our society in a good way and to help us to build a better world. And let us continue praying for each other that we can face this situation that we are facing in the Good Shepherd that was with us. Amen. Let us offer it to God our prayers and petitions. Let us pray first for the Holy Church that follow.
following Jesus, following, following his voice, we can be a sign of hope for this world that has prayed to God. Let us pray for our government, government leaders that they can also be the providers, be the signs of unity in our society, that they can serve in honesty and helping the society to grow as a society who helps and love each other. Let us pray to God. Lord, Let us pray for our city, for those who have been affected by this virus, and the other people that deal with other illness, that they can be strengthened by God's grace, and that they can receive also the healing power of God in their lives. Let us pray to God. Let us pray for those who have died, that the good shepherd may lead them to the good pastures, and that they can find the rest of their souls. Let us pray for them. Lord, also, we want to pray for those who send their invitations to this parish, and that we place it on. From close to the altar, that their education, their needs can be respond from God in the good, in the good way according to His will. Let us pray for them. Lord, now in silence, let us offer to God our own prayers and petitions. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, and who that we have received a healthy offering, the fruit of the body, the fruit of the earth, and what we give against, it will become our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for the fruit that we have received a healthy offering, the fruit of the body, and what we give against, it will become our spiritual food. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right to judge our doing and salvation at all times to attend to the Lord. But in this time of all, Lord, love you get more, more gracious, gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down its meaning, and 
integrity of life in his Lord to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome the past and joy, every land, every people, and souls in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic tongues sing together the unending hymn of glory as they are doing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in our hearts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in our hearts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May holy therefore this peace we pray by sending down your spirit upon them and the poor, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. He was betrayed and entered in glory into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim to them, O Lord, the profess the resurrection until the time. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks and pray that morning to be your presence and minister to you. How do you pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church has spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Lord and Jose our Bishop of God and Church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of uh, the resurrection. Welcome them, them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
us off each other as sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Let's our hearts to the sound of the Lord. We know you cannot receive Jesus in person, but we, you can receive your spiritual longing for him. So the prayer is, my Jesus, I believe you. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant we pray that those that those who were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord.
this is a special opportunity that we are fortunate to have, and it gives us
maybe even if it's if you only need one or two, maybe you could join together with others and if you can uh, together buy a box that you can you can uh, use in your homes. Um, I believe that those are the main messages at the moment. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, it looks like I've got the okay and uh, we've covered the the most important kinds of things. We certainly wish all of you blessings, the love, and the goodness of God in your lives through these difficult times that we continue to live. And we hope that in the not too distant future, we'll be able to be through things that weigh upon us and possibly to be able to have some of the kinds of consolations and joys and helps that we commonly see in our day to day lives. I don't want to go back to you, but uh, the sound hall is on Wednesday at 4, it's the day after tomorrow. That's right. And the rosary is going to be on Saturday at 5, not at 5.30. So. I thought that's good. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve. Follow our good shepherd. Thanks, Thanks to God. God. Let us lead our lady in this month.